So today, we're dropping into Verhunga Savannah. We're getting yelled at by animals like crazy already. We're hoping we're gonna have a good hunt. We're really just out here just to see what we can find. We're not looking at anything specific, hoping to find some trophies. Maybe a diamond lion, a diamond cape buffalo, a diamond gims buff, whatever. We're just out here to have a good time. We have a couple different ran random weapons. We're tracking a max weight blue wildebeest right now. The weapons we chose for today's hunt are a little different than normal. We have the drilling rifle in 9.3. Let's see if this is the guy we're tracking. Oh, there he is. There he is. We're gonna get this intro out of the way real quick. Anyways, we have the 9.3 drilling rifle. These are for the really big animals. We have the 4570 lever action for the medium sized animals. For the smaller animals, we have the 223 AR-15. And just in case things get hairy and close, we have the 454. Sounds like we're close on something. So without further ado, guys, let's jump right in. Holy crap, he's huge! That's not what I'm wanting. That's not what I'm wanting. That's not the one. That's not the one. Not the one either. Not the one. Not the one. Not the one. are the wildebeest that I saw earlier. I saw a level 5 as we were out. So I'm going to see if we can't find him. Before I hit record, I saw this level 5 wildebeest. And that's the tracks that we have. Uber is just losing his mind. I don't know if he's part of that herd. These are his tracks here. Looks like we had a lion feeding here, actually. It was a female, nothing, no rare fur type or anything. We're gonna just follow these tracks, see where he went off to, see if we can't find him. I don't think he was part of that herd. I think that was a different herd. If I had to guess, Might have been a diamond in that herd. I didn't really look at their scores. I was just looking at levels. I want to see if we can't get this guy though. Find out where he's going. Take him down. Not sure what we'll use on him. We'll find. We'll decide when we finally get in on him. Okay, I think we're on him. Just got a snort from the male in front of me. Just tracking. It's tracking male down. Let's see. Let's see if this is him. I know he was a level five. His estimate was 35 to 40 something. So, I mean, it could be possible that he trolls. I think he needs to be 37. We can get in close and iron sights with the 454. Would be a cool kill. Hear him. There he is. That is him. 50 meters. That's not the weapon I wanted. Let's do it with the 454. 
That was a good shot. 35 to 40. Estimate. Potential diamond. Right off the bat. Let us see what this guy scored. Vital blood. Ooh. This is the crazy thing about Verhanga Savannah. You never know what you're going to find. This guy went down quick. Let's get rid of that waypoint. Good looking size. I think he's going to hit it. Time in 38.2. A little bit over diamond by 1.276 on the weight. A nice little start out. The 454 does a nice bleed rate. Not great on penetration, but man, does it expand and get some blood pumping out. We will take that. So to start out, we land a diamond. Blue wildebeest. Let's see what else we can find. Current time. Time check is 9.53. I think we'll jump down and go after some Cape Buffalo on the south shoreline here. There are no need zones found down there yet. And a diamond Cape Buffalo with the 454 maybe. Maybe the 4570. Something you don't use all that often on these animals just because how big they are. That'd be pretty cool. Hopefully we can find something good on this south shoreline. We shall see. Okay, so we got a max weight 7 up there. Nothing special. That one's a level 1 female. So we're going to try out the drilling rifle on this guy, I think. Take the drilling rifle to a 150 zero. That's the highest it'll go. I think usually I can run into about 150 on them. Before they, right when they start to go alert, is about 200, 150. We'll see if we can't get in that close. Get them to go alert. That one already took off. Thank you. There we go. He's a tent up now. And now he's alert. Catch his breath and heart shot. Boom. Boom. That's not too bad. I wasn't sure how well this gun was actually going to hold up on capes. Because they they got such a thick hide. It's hard to punch through them. You need something big. But that 9.3. It's a big round. I mean, it's a pretty <laughs> really big round considering that we usually use a 338 9.3 is pushing it it's a big, big old bullet here's that seven he's taken out with a heart shot Let's see how much right lung and heart barely getting in there according to that just nicked that right lung not bad a gold 135.4 Right guys, so it looks like we have a diamond potential warthog right here. Didn't mean to make him go alert, but we did. We dropped him with the 4570. Let's see if this guy hits diamond. I don't know if he will, but it would be kind of cool if he did. All right, here he is. I have no idea. I've never taken a diamond warthog. He's a gold 54.3. Not even close. Nice dark color. Nice big boy, though. He is a... Overall, a big boy. Looks like we got a level 8 here with nothing else around it for Cape of Buffalo. We don't have much time left for their drink. We'll probably do the drilling rifle, and then I'm gonna see if we can't end out on a couple lions. I said lions are well, lions. In a nice big lion would be pretty darn cool. That one's alert already. For some reason, this one won't go alert. There we go. Now he's attentive. Trying. There we go. We'll do the drilling rifle. Look at me. There you go. Pick your head up. Jeez. I had a fly flying in my face and everything. <gasps> this is just... Whoa. Where'd you come from? 
I am not. Are you aggressive? Ooh, you're aggressive. Oh. Okay. Oh. 454. Oh. And try and take her with a brain shot. Nope. Nope. She changed her mind. Unfortunate. We're gonna have fun with that one. But here's that level eight. <laughs> ah, 137.5. Putting in at 832 kilograms. Not bad. Small, small cape buffalo. We'll take it. Oh, guys, he's not the biggest side stripe jack, but he is a side stripe jack. Well, that we finally have gotten the opportunity to see. And I think that was a good shot on him. Since they got rid of their drink time, I have a hard time finding side stripe jackals. They're not out in the wide open. I'm not seeing them very often. There she is, a black brown spring buck. I, yeah, been a nice level three. Not sure how far they run. This is the second time spooking them, so. Yep. At least got one resting out there, too. Could go for him. I really would like to get that black brown. I haven't gotten a black brown spring buck yet. Is wrong gun. Correct gun. Boom. Boom. Going down. This AR-223 is just, just terrible. I wanted to change it up and try something different than the 243, but I think I'm gonna have to find something that is better for these small to medium game animals, because it's just, it just doesn't do it for me. It's not. Not what I need, unfortunately. There he is, right there in front of us. Okay, guys, we got him. Long sh oh, he messed him up. Hit him in the skull. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. She's a female, I don't care. Got her. We did get it. All right, had to be quick on that. A little quick snapshot, pull that rifle up real quick. I did snag that dark brown, or black brown, I think it's what it's called. Black brown, yeah, that's right. Black brown, spring buck. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Got it on my brainder. Oh yeah, that's cool though. Oh. That is really cool. I haven't seen one of those before. That is really cool. We're going to take her back to the lodge and put up our diamond cape buffalo that we... Not cape buffalo. Diamond wildebeest that we got off the rip. We found a good spot for both of them. So I'll catch you back in the lodge. Alright guys, we're chilling out by the fire. And put up our other, our new diamond blue wildebeest. I keep wanting to say Cape Buffalo. We're our new uh, diamond blue wildebeest. My brain is in a fog. I apologize, guys. He's next to our first diamond wildebeest that we ever got. That was a 38.4 dark gray versus a gray. This one was right after the population reset on my map. We nailed him at uh, level five as well. And we cut this guy today right off the rip. Super cool to see him come out. Now, unfortunately, the rest of the hunt was pretty slow. I wasn't seeing, I wasn't seeing much as far as animals. They were, the lobbies were a little weird. Had a few with hackers, as you guys saw. Just 
Just wasn't the best of hunts today, but that's all right. We still got a couple good trophies. This little girl was with that uh, black brown, which is an uncommon fur type. Not a rare, but I haven't actually seen one yet uh, that I remember. Yeah, so I wanted to take her as the first black brown that I've seen. So we've got her in here with it, and we just need to fill up this room some more. So I think this would be a good room to make our... Yeah, I think this would be a good room to make our Africa map for now until we start getting more trophies. We did get this guy. We'll put him right above the door. This is a max weight lion. He scored a 49.8. Uh, unfortunately, he glitched out and just was stuck in the fleeing state, not moving at all. So it's not true. I don't really count him, but I couldn't not taxidermy him because he was uh, weighing in at 270 kilos, which is just super cool. But unfortunately, he was glitched out, so it's not a true, true honorable kill. But we did get him, which is pretty cool. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching and sticking it out with me. I know today was a little bit slower of a hunt. We didn't see as many cool things, so we didn't catch as many kills. But that's all right. That's how it goes sometimes. Sometimes you don't have the best of luck, and today was just not our day. Please consider hitting that like button for me, hitting the subscribe button. New great content is coming out all the time, twice a week. And as always, guys, go enjoy a good hunt with a good friend. I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.